So this is jsisweird.com. Y'all told me that this is by far the hardest JavaScript quiz there is. So let's give it a shot. Start the quiz. True plus false. Okay, so this is going to do addition. So true is one, false is zero. So that is one. Okay, array with some commas dot length. So this is going to create empty spaces. So we have one, two, three, four empty spaces. Although it might actually treat the last comma as an trailing comma. So that would mean we'd have three spaces. So yeah, I'm going to go with three. I think the last comma is a trailing comma. All right, one, two, three in an array plus four, five, six in an array. So I think what this is going to try to do is convert both arrays to strings and do concatenation. So this would be like one, two, three. This would be four, five, six. So if you do like an array with numbers to string, just going to get those numbers without the actual like array symbols. So yeah, I think we'll have one comma two comma three like this actually, because at the end of this, there's not like a space or anything. So I think we're actually going to be like this or 34 essentially, because we have this three comma this four. Okay, point two plus point one is strictly equal to point three. So because of the floating point arithmetic and how floating point numbers are just not super precise, this is sort of a classic problem where this is false. 10 comma two. Okay, so this is the comma operator. So essentially, if you have a comma between values, it just returns the last value. So this is actually going to return two. All right, double bang and then an empty string. So this essentially converts a value to a Boolean. So what it's going to do is this converts to a Boolean and inverts it, and then this inverts that inverted Boolean. So essentially, it's just converting to a Boolean. And an empty string is falsy, so this is going to be false. All right, so this is the same thing. We convert the empty array to a Boolean, and then this converts it to a number. So this is unary plus. So let's see, an empty array, I believe, is truthy. So this is going to be true. True converted to a number is one. All right, percent. 0. Point bunch of zeros 5. Okay. I mean, there's got to be a trick to this, right? I, there's no way it's NAN. I, I can't imagine that, that that would be the case. Maybe it is. I don't know. 0 feels correct. I don't know why this wouldn't be 0. I, there's no way it's 1. Like, there's not any 1s in here. And I, percent doesn't... I mean, it shouldn't round that up. It's basically 0. Five would be if it's just like taking this value for some reason. All right, let's go with zero. Maybe they're just throwing this in to try to like trick us, making us think that everything's a trick when it's not. This feels like it should be zero. Let's see. True loosely equals true. Okay. I mean, it's not a syntax error. It's not undefined. So is this true or false? So this is true. This is the string true. I mean, this... Let's see, if it converts these to, does it convert these to strings or is it try to convert them to numbers? Because if it converts them to numbers, well, this would be one. I think this, I think this is true. Something makes me feel like this is true, but then I feel like it should be, it should be false because the quiz is so hard. So this is true. This, if we convert it to a Boolean, I, I think it would be truthy because any string that's not an empty string is truthy. So this would be true. If you convert it to a number, I mean, if you convert it to a number, you'd get NAN, I think. So maybe, does it convert them to numbers? Or does it convert them to strings? Or does it convert them to Booleans? I don't, and if it converts them to strings, they'd be the same, because this would become this string. I'm going to go with true, although I feel like it might be false. This might end up as NAN equals true or something, like, or NAN equals one or something like that. But let's go, let's go with true. All right, so 0, 1, 0, minus 0, 3. So assuming we're not in strict mode, this is going to be octal. So octal 0, 1, 0 is 8. So this is a 1 in the 8's place. And then this is just the number 3. Or no, this is, well, this is also octal, but it's octal just 3, which is still 3. So 8 minus 3 is 5. All right, now we have an empty string minus minus another empty string. Okay, so... Let's see, subtraction is going to have to convert to numbers. So I guess this is going to be zero minus, and then this is going to convert this into a number, which is also zero. So this is going to be unary minus. So essentially this becomes negative zero. So zero minus negative zero is zero. Unless this converted 
to a number becomes like n a n, but I don't think so. I think it's zero. So zero minus zero is zero. Let's go with that. Null plus zero. So I think this is just going to do addition. So I think this is going to be zero plus zero is zero again. I mean, it could be null zero. It could do string concatenation, but I, I feel like this is going to just do addition. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with zero. Zero divided by zero. Okay, so this is either zero or infinity. I want to say if you divide anything by zero, you get infinity or any positive value by zero, you get infinity. But it could also be zero or it could be not a number. It could be like this is just like not a reasonable thing to do and this could return not a number. Oh, this is hard. Is it zero infinity or not a number? If it was like one over zero, I know it's infinity. Zero over zero? I actually think this might be not a number. It might be like this is just confusing. What are you trying to do? Yeah, let's go with not a number. All right. One divided by zero. So this one's infinity is greater than 10 raised to the 1000th power. So this is just some super high number. So infinity is greater than all other values, which would make me think this is true. However, I do know that in JavaScript, if you create a number that is so large, it just can't be contained. There's some point where it's just like above the max safe integer and you just get basically nonsense. But there's some point where you actually just start getting infinity. So I think, I mean, to the 1000th power is high. So I think there's a chance that this is beyond that point. So I think we might be getting infinity is greater than infinity, which would be false because infinity is equal to infinity. So I'm going to go with that. Although if this is just like a super high number, then it would be true, but I'm going to go with false. All right, true plus plus. So if we treat true as a number, this would just be one plus plus, which would be two essentially. But plus plus is actually essentially the same as like plus equals. And you can't assign to true. I can't say like true equals true plus one. I could save a variable as true and then add one to that. But assigning to true feels like you can't do that. So I'm going to go with syntax error. I don't think it's going to let you assign a value to true. All right, empty string minus one. What are these answers? All right, so I think this is going to be zero minus one. So I think we just get negative one. Yeah, I think we just get the number of negative one here. All right, null minus zero. So that's going to be zero minus zero. So this is zero plus the string of zero. So I think we get the string of zero, zero when you do that. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's this one. True plus true minus zero. All right, order of operations, we do this first. So true minus zero, what is that? All right, so the string of true minus zero. All right, so we have a string minus a number. What are we going to get? String minus a number. So the string is truthy. So maybe this is one. I Yeah, I, I wanna say this is going to be one, but it might also just be like, not a number. The string, you know, this might be not a number. I feel like I might have said something different for something very similar to this earlier, but I kind of feel like this is going to be not a number. So true minus zero. If that's not a number, then we would have true plus not a number, which would just give us not a number. All right, let's go with N-A-N, or as I've been told, apparently people pronounce it Nan. Let me know. How do y'all pronounce it? I've been saying N-A-N and not a number, but Apparently, that's a hot take. All right, not five plus not five. All right, so this is going to convert both of these to Booleans and invert them. So five is truthy. Any number that's not zero is truthy. So this is true, not true, false. So we have false plus false, which is zero plus zero. So zero. All right, empty array plus empty array, I think is going to give us an empty string because it's going to convert both of these to strings and they have nothing in them. So empty string plus empty string is empty string. 1 plus 2 plus the string of 3. All right, so 1 plus 2 is 3, plus the string of 3 is going to give us the string of 33 because we do concatenation there. So that's that. Type of NAN is actually number. Undefined plus false. Um, What? <laughs> All right, so false is 0. Undefined converted to a number, I think is actually NAN. Yeah, I think... I think if you convert undefined to a number, you get NAN, which would mean we have NAN plus zero, essentially, which would 
B N A N, I think. All right, empty string and negative zero. All right, so if we do and, if the first value is falsy, it returns that value. So this is falsy, so we return the empty string. Yeah. All right, plus negation or double bang N A N. All right, so this, not a number, is falsy. So this is false. And then this converts it to a number, which is going to be zero. So this whole thing is zero. And then we multiply by this. Well, what is this? <laughs> I like this I give up answer. All right, so empty string, my, all right, so minus this array is going to convert the array into a number. So an array is going to be zero, I think, right? Yeah, this feels like zero. And empty string minus zero, I think, is also zero. So I think this whole thing is zero. I think we get the number zero here. Yeah, I'm going with that. I think we get zero here. How did we do? 23 out of 25. I will take that. Let's see what we got wrong, though. All right, so we got these right. It's kind of going off here. All right, percent. No way. All right, you answered incorrectly. Percent. 0 0.5 is 0, 0. Point, huh? So if you just add enough zeros, it becomes 5. So it converts the first argument into a string. Why? Why are we converting integer? I mean, I guess like percent is meant for parsing an integer from a string, so it kind of makes sense that it converts to a string, but like, why JavaScript? So this to a string, oh, so you end up with this, and then percent is going to take this string and take the first number until it gets to a letter, which is going to be five. Okay, then. Oh, we got two wrong in a row. True equals true. What is this? It converts to numbers. Okay, so true is one, and then the number of the string true is not a number. So one loosely equals not a number is false because not a number is not equal to anything in JavaScript. All right, well, I think we did pretty well. That's honestly better than I thought we were going to do. I was pretty confused on most of those questions. But I'm happy with that. And if you do want to see me do another one of these quizzes that was labeled as an impossible quiz by one of y'all, you should watch this video next.